The topic three is to again use table and graph. In the previous two topics, graphing was not compulsory. You had to know what is the end behaviors or the leading coefficients or the degrees. But here you can see the question is just not x cubed, not only with the degree term. You have many other terms. You need to graph this and the only method, the best method is by the table method. So now over here, then you need to check for the relative minima or maxima. So what you do, are, what you have to do is make a table. So what does this mean? It's very simple. You, you need to just assume x values. Since we know over here it is x to the power 3, it's a cubic graph. And we know the cubic graph, when it's positive, it goes upwards and downwards, something like this. Now, you have to assume the domain, take some random x values. Okay, just uh, take some x values in the negative side and the positive side and you will get an understanding of how the graph shapes out. That's what you're trying to do over here now. That's why, how would you do this? This is very simple. You are to just put the x, f of x as minus 4 and then solve it. Instead of x, it will be minus 4 the whole cube plus minus 4 the whole square minus 5 times minus 4 minus 2. Okay, for one, one value, it's fine. It's easy. It's not easy. It takes time. But it's going to take a long time to do all these values, isn't it? Isn't there any other method? So let me just do this one prob one situation over here. It's minus 4. Then you ought to just put it cube. Plus, again, minus 4 square minus over here 5 times again minus 4. Use the bracket when it's negative numbers. Lastly, we have minus 2. The answer, okay, I've missed something. Now, it's minus 4 cube and minus 4 square. I have written plus, it is minus over here, which I forgot. So this is the correct answer. Be careful as well when you type in the equation. Now over here, you can see the answer is minus 30. But what will you do for the other values? It's very insane. I mean, it's, it's an onerous task to, you know, keep on changing. So there's a shortcut method. Free exams do this. There are plenty of shortcuts. To make a table, you can use your calculator. More and 7. 7 tells you it's stable. Okay, let's figure out what it is. All you need to do is you need to type this equation in the uh, function. That is f of x, right? Let's type it out. What is x? It is alpha x, so the power 3 plus alpha x again, square, minus 5x, minus 2. You're just typing this as it is. Now, let me press equal to. Is there another function? No, we are just dealing with one function. We are just graph one particular function, so it's fine. We will just press equal to. Don't type anything over here. Now, where do you want to start? Do you want to start from 0, 1, 2? Let us start from, say, a negative value. I'll start from minus 5. Okay, because they're going to compute it, so you can take any number of values. It doesn't matter. Okay, where do you want to end? Let me choose 5 as the ending point. I can type it as 5. And what is the step? Step means what jumps do you give between the values? If I put 2 over here, I started with minus 5, next one will be minus 3, minus 1, 2 numbers will be jumped. But the one, let's give a step of 1 itself. So it will be minus 4, minus 3, minus 2 and so on. So let me give it as 1. And here you are the table. Over here the negative 5 is not there but it is minus 77. The negative 4 is negative 30. Minus 3 is minus 5 and you can see all the values are just obtained in this table. Up till 5 over here, we have the values. If you have this values, since this is just MCQ, you can easily compare and check the graph. You can say, let's take any point 0, it is minus 2, yes. Let me take 1, 1 is negative 5, absolutely. 2 is 0, yes. Minus 1 is 3, let me check, yes. All the va values correspond. So there will be only one graph in your answer, which will be the correct graph. So you can easily find it out. And what about the extrema and uh, local maxima and minima? Over here, the relative maxima is at minus, between minus 2 and uh, minus 1. You can see it's somewhere over here. So that's the thing. Over here, it is given over here near to minus 2. And over here, what about the maxima? It is at positive 1. I'm sorry, minima. 
relative minimize at minus one. That's it. That's how we can solve it. There is one more method. That's another shortcut method. Since generally these are your answers, obviously you can put this in the calculator and graph it. I'll just do it again if you have missed it. All you need to do is mod 7 and type in the equation alpha x cube minus 3 alpha x. Oh, sorry, say look, make sure you're typing it accurately and properly. Double check your uh, equation after you type it. And now press equal to. There's nothing over here, just press equal to. I want to start it from say minus 5. Uh, we are minus 3 or oh, minus 4 is also enough. And then end at 4 itself. And now the step was 1. I'm getting the values. You can see they are all the same values. Um, <clears throat> there is there is one value which is the four ring. Let me just check. Okay, this is the correct values. Now over here, there is an error. That is at minus 2, we need to have minus 1. Please note that there's a small error over here. Let us check it in the graph, but the graph is also erroneous. At minus 2, yes, you can see at minus 2, it's a little bit down. Okay, it's just at the border, you know. So just make note. But whatever you write in the calculator will always be right. They, they, they compute it automatically. And you can just check the answer. So now there is one more method to check the graph if they have asked the graph. Now you can just take any value. Take any value. I'll, take, I'll choose 0. Now once you choose that value as 0, you need to substitute x as 0 in this equation. This becomes 0. This becomes 0. What's the answer? 1. So when x is 0, it should be 1. Yes, that corresponds. Let me take 1 as x value. So what do I do? Here. Yeah. All I need to do, do, do is instead of x, it's 1, 1 cube minus 3 into 1 plus 1. And what is the answer? It is minus 1. So at 1, it was minus 1. Yes, absolutely right. So when you check two or three points, you can easily eliminate all the other options and you will be remaining with only one graph. So this is another direct method. And now what, what is that over here? The zeros are the values which are the uh, the x intercept values now look over here at minus 2 there is a 0 okay um, it's it's approximate sorry it's not exactly right it's approximate see it's between minus 2 and minus 1 so that's the thing and there is one more 0 at 1 0 to 1 and at 1 to 2 so we are just approximating for now in this third problem it's just approximation this is another 0 you're not exactly telling which is the point because we cannot we just give a approximate and then over here the relative maximum is over here at minus one whereas the minimum the relative minimum is at one and then domain and range as we had seen in the previous um, topic it's all real numbers for cubic similarly please do try and solve the others as well it's very straightforward just make sure you put it everything correctly in the calculator and you can easily solve them up and once you know the graph which is the correct graph you can easily write the relative minima maxima and the domains and everything so now apps okay i will just tell you what's the difference between absolute maxima and relative maxima so now if there is a graph like this say for example okay now, whatever, uh, forget about the endpoints. We're dealing with the relative or absolute maxima. Now, this is a maximum point, and this is also a maximum point, right? This is the absolute maximum point because there is no part of the graph that's going above this. You can see this is the topmost point in the graph, and there is no more graph, uh, no more point that goes above it. Usually, we will have in a parabola. This is the absolute maxima. But now, this one is also maxima. We call it relative maxima. Here as well, you can see that this is a maximum point. But there is a part of graph which is going to infinity. That means it's bigger than that. So we generally call it relative maxima or relative minima in this case. When the domain extends towards infinity. So similarly, please do try to solve these problems by yourself. And then check the answers. I hope it is clear. If you have any doubts, do put them in the comment section. And I hope you can understand me properly because my voice is kind of gone. So in the past few days, um, I'm trying my best. So I hope you're uh, 
it's audible and you're understanding if you have any doubts just put them in the comment section i'll get back to you as soon as possible so please go through them and then check out the answers these are all the answers they're very straightforward if you understand one concept you're just translating the same concept to the others okay let me just go through this one over here quickly you might know this is a piecewise equation there are three different pieces there are three different pieces of the equation so the domain and range if you graph this you're going to get this now over here you can carefully see it's x squared x squared means it's a parabola but they have told the domain is restricted for less than or equal to minus four so it is just over here it can't be anything below that why because only less than or equal to minus four values are included whereas if it's a phi it's a constant line linear line at minus four to zero okay that's why it's the line and what about the cubic it's only greater than zero it's positive so it will go upside uh, greater than zero and it's only that much now what is the domain range and all the other things now over here you can see the domain is obviously all real numbers it's extending everywhere but what about the range range is all possible numbers above zero now we, there's one more thing which you need to note it's from zero and uh, it's only greater than zero zero is not included but over here zero is included right can you see x is less than or equal to zero so zero is included and even four negative four is included though it's not included over here here it's included because of these signs we can make sure they're all real numbers okay though it's straight everywhere it is included now range is all positive numbers because there's nothing over here which is going beyond x less than uh, sorry less, less than x axis relative minima and relative maxima now over here there are two relative minimum points which you can see one is over here see it's stop this is one relative minima but because it's added and then over here is another relative minima because you can see this is the turning point so there are two relative minima it's at minus 4 and 16 and x is at 0 okay and then we have end behaviors that is as it goes towards negative infinity what happens the y value is going to positive infinity and even if your x values are going to positive infinity that is to the right side of the x-axis the y is going to positive infinity itself and now are there any x-intercepts you might think this is zero right but wrong why because it's not included see this is not included it's only greater than zero so you start with say 0 0.001 it'll be tiniest point just a, uh, more than zero whereas this over here is including zero but still it's not touching the x-axis it's just over here right it touches the y-axis so the y-intercept you can say is as four because it's touching the y-intercept over here you cannot tell this is at zero this is not the x-intercept there is no x-intercept Whereas y intercept is only at 5 because this is not touching. And this is not at all symmetrical because nothing is matching. So now there's an easy way if you can see all the four options and then look into the questions. And then you can easily deduce the correct answer. So even if you do not know any answer, don't be, uh, don't panic. Look into the all four options. Go check each and every option and see what it means. Compare it to the question and then you can eliminate few uh, options and then you can get the correct answer so that is the end of the third topic third topic we will continue the next topic in the next section